very new. I came the week before spring break. So I'm still getting to know everybody and the way that we do things here at Country Heights. And I told you before spring break, we did a really quick call and response. And it went something like this. I asked, who's a teacher? And you called back. Wow, I'm impressed. Some of you remember that. Let's try it again. Who's a teacher? That's exactly right. Everybody in this building is a teacher. And this morning, I need you to teach me about our morning meeting. So who can tell me something I need to know? Teach me something about our morning meeting. You have something? Teach me something. Um, we usually give out banners. And um, like, um, sometimes we do like, uh, who's, who, uh, and sometimes we do like, um, PE, um, um, I forgot what it is, but. So are you telling me that we recognize different students and classes who are doing the right thing, being leaders? Thank you for teaching me that. Who has something else that they can teach me about the morning meeting? Teach me, teach me, teach me. We usually do birthdays and then we talk about the seven habits. Excellent. Thank you so much. So we recognize birthdays. We definitely talk about the seven habits. Um, what about before that even gets started? Like you all come into the gym. What do I need to know about the expectations? Teach me something. We usually give out a trophy up there. So there's trophies, lots of recognition. What about before we get to that? Before any of that happens, what do I need to know? Well, um, if you didn't eat at home, you can go to breakfast in the cafeteria. And if you don't, you can sit down and, in the gym and do work, or you can go to the homework help. You just blew my mind. You taught me a lot right there. So you're saying, let me make sure I understand correctly. You come in, if you need to eat breakfast, you put your backpack down and go to breakfast, right? So that's an option. But he said that if you don't need to eat, that you can sit down, that you can do work. If you need to, there's also the homework club, I believe. And then what kind of voice level? You mentioned that I could chat with my friends if I wanted to, but I don't know what kind of voice level I need to be on during that time. Level one. Level one, excellent. Okay, so we're gonna be on a level one. And I'm wondering about after all of it's over, after the morning meeting is over and we're dismissing, I'm wondering what voice level I need to be on. I know when I'm chatting with my friends, it's a level one. But after all of that's over, and we're heading back to the classroom, ready to get our day started, ready to make our brain bigger. What voice level do you think we should be on? Zero. Are you sure? Do you agree with her? Yes. yes. Well, that's interesting. Wait, you agree? you're sure it's level zero? Yes. yes. Okay, well, I was in here yesterday during the morning meeting, so I got to see a lot of cool stuff, and you all did a great job. You know how to come in, you know how to go to breakfast, you know how to chat with your friends, you're excellent listeners during while we recognize students. But that dismissing at level zero, that's not happening. So you're sure that it's supposed to be a level zero, right? You're teaching me that it's supposed to be at a level zero. So today, let's focus on that, okay? Because I think we do so many great things in the morning and we've got those down because we've been in school well over 100 days. I don't know the exact number, but I know it's well over 100. So today, and for the rest of this week, I want it to us to make it our goal that we dismiss at level zero. So today when we do that, of course you're gonna hear teacher voices. They might be giving you directions, but I want us to focus on turning our voices off, getting our mind ready, to go into the classroom so that we can make our brain bigger. All right? So today, what are we gonna to try to do when we leave the gym? Tell me. 
You got it. Excellent job. We're going to try to keep our voice on a level zero today during dismissal. All right? I am going to be handing this over to, I believe, first grade, right? Because we get to recognize some awesome students. Okay. All right. First grade, we're here to celebrate you guys this morning for your hard work for the last nine weeks. And so first we're going to do reading wigs. And so my whole class, stand up. Woohoo! Reading wigs for my class. Everybody stand up. Reading wigs for Miss Jane's class. Everybody stand up. Woohoo! Go first grade. Are you guys awesome? Yeah. Let me see the cheer. One, two, three, let us Oh my gosh, you're going to be so much better than that. Are you awesome? A little better. A little better. Are you proud and confident in your hard work? Are you passing your sight words? I don't know. Alright. So, for math wig, guess what? My whole class? Keep standing. Way to go. Math wigs for my class. You can see it back up. Miss Chase class, everybody stand up. Woohoo! Big happy cheer. All right, next we'll do the Husky Habit Hero, and I'm so sorry, but I only can pick one of you guys. All of you show your seven habits every day, but the person who earns the most Husky Habit Heroes for the last nine weeks was Miss Katie. Okay, and this girl is on it, always putting tickets in the bucket. And for my class, my Husky Habit Hero leader is Alexis. And from the shade class, it's a boy, and it's Maverick. Big Husky cheers. Go All right, the next one is for 110%. Always going above and beyond in everything you do, in your work, in your attitude, in your learning, everything. You always give 110%, and that is Miss Gabby. And my 110% kiddo is Shane. Mine is Isabella P. She's not here yet. Big Husky cheer! Go Husky! All right, and the last one is our Hall of Fame heroes. Earning those jewels on their clips on when they get to role model on pink. And so always showing those seven habits and just being great leaders inside and outside of the classroom to get clipped up. And so I have Annalise. Paris and Tanner Wheeler. Good job, guys. Okay, and in my class, it was also a three way tie. I think that's a pretty awesome competition. I have for my Hall of Fame Alexis, Bristol, and Kylie Jones. It's not here yet. In my class, there was also three Jackson, Nate, and Addison. Big Husky cheer. First grade, great job. All right, guys, I'm going to go in and give away our lunchroom banner, and this was for the week before spring break. And we had a few classes that did really good using their manners, but I've got one class that I still remember how good their manners were, even though we were gone that whole week. And that's going to be Miss Franklin's class. So let's do a big husky cheer. Shelby Aker, Parker Wilson, Olivia Kate, Nia Powell, mm -hmm. Hodgson, Evan Shutt, Carter Murphy, Kendall Murphy, Maddox Sorrell, Nolan Brett, Christopher Cloud, Dick Dowd, Dalton Noy, Kayden Clark, Alexis Eisen, Jack Ritchie. For a count of three, stand up for a second birthday. Three. Happy birthday! All right, guys, these ladies have your pencils, so 
if they called your name, come on up and get your birthday pencil. While they're coming up, I'm going to recognize the attendance trophy and banner for the month of March and the week before spring break. And then Jenna's going to read something. So are we ready? All right. So the banner for the week before spring break is going to Miss Best's class. So give them a husky cheer. Husky. But the trophy, but the trophy for the month of March is going to Miss Clay's class. Husky cheer for Miss Clay's class. Husky. Right, we have one more thing to share and then we'll be ready to get our, the rest of our morning started. The big idea of this month is humility. We're being humble. Humility means putting, other, putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. Do you know someone who's humble by putting others first and giving up what they deserve? The first person, first person I think of are my grandparents. They always have time to put me first. Please sit up straight. Please stand at a level zero. 